after mornings on 95.7 The Jet, Jody and Bender. Yep, we look forward to Hi Tuesdays guys. and Thursdays every single week. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at you guys looking all fashionable. Carly's oh, got this uh, Liv Tyler <laughs> that thing you do look going on. Yeah. Look at you. Thanks, Bender. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Springtime is special. <laughs> I'm excited because we're going to be talking about why a Dodgers player did not stay at the same hotel as the rest of his team in Milwaukee. Yeah. But first, we have to talk about this new dating show. Yeah. So I hear it involves divorced people with the twist. Tell us all about this. Right. Um, so the big D, no comment, oh. set to premiere <laughs> June 14, starring, um, I don't know if you guys watched JoJo Fletcher's season of The Bachelorette, but her and Jordan Rogers, who's the younger brother of Aaron Rodgers, they're oh. the hosts. And what this is, is recent divorcees on a, an island near Costa Rica, and they meet other divorcees, and it's paradise where they get to meet each other and all that stuff. But the one catch is that their exes are there as well. Ooh. So imagine oh. you're a divorcee, and you're on one of these dating shows, and your ex, who you just got divorced from, is also there. I guess depending on what your relationship is like with your ex, it could be either... Uh, helpful or a hindrance, you know. <laughs> there could be somebody across the beach screaming, "Don't talk to him! <laughs> Don't me. do it!" Run. Oh my gosh, that sounds really <laughs> juicy. It, it seems like a pressure cooker, and I'm here for it. I'm here for the messy drama. I want to watch this. Yes. You know what else yeah. I'm here for? The, I guess here. the question, though. Yeah. Hold on. Well, go, no, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just want to talk about Jody's Swifty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Repin. That's right. We're bought. Glendale, I'm here Arizona. For it. <laughs> but let's well, keep I, talking well, about divorce. <laughs> well, I, but yes, by all means. Uh, the, I guess the question, though, is because Jody had mentioned when she was doing the story about you're you're going out there and you're bringing the person that you just divorced. How much time has passed between the divorce and this little social experiment that they're going to roll out on national television? Right. Unknown. Unknown at this point. Oh. It might be a year. It might be a couple of months. I think it, you know, is going to depend upon the relationship, how they interact with each other. Although, you know, sometimes the women sort of become friends and the men become friends in their various villas when you watch these dating shows. Yeah. So you don't want your new best friend going out with your ex if your ex is trying to scam them, you know, so it could be messy. It could be great. Yeah, it yeah. could be. Now, uh, Bender, you are a happily married man, but you have also been divorced in the past. So would you say that it is possible to have a healthy relationship with an ex? Yes. It <laughs> took a while to get there, yeah. as as my ex will also attest to. Uh, so if we were invited to do this show, uh -huh. uh, like only a year or so after we got divorced, no way in hell. However, sure. now... 12, 13 years later, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of the ultimatum. I don't know if anyone watched that on Netflix, yes, but it I was like that. them just, you know, saying, I'm going to break up with you. And, and like they date other people and their exes are there too. And that show definitely worked. That was a huge hit. So I think this is going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be a train wreck regardless. It has been <laughs> wild. Yes. All right. So switching gears here Dodgers player, is it Mookie? Mookie. Mookie, Mookie Betts. Betts. All right. Mookie his, Betts. Mookie didn't stay at the yeah. same hotel with the rest of his team. What is going on here? Yeah, uh, Jody and I talked about this morning on 95.7 The Jets. Mm. So uh, the Dodgers are in Milwaukee for a three-game series. And during the three-game series, the team stays at, I guess, the hotel that always puts up all the visiting baseball teams. It's called the Feister Hotel in downtown Milwaukee. Well, apparently, Mookie said the last time I stayed there, I was very uncomfortable. I couldn't get any sleep. I'm hearing noises. And then come to find out that the, the hotel has a reputation for being haunted. So he got himself an Airbnb to stay away from the team, away from the hotel, because the last time he was there, didn't get any sleep, played like garbage. And now, apparently, the team signed off on it because I guess there are other major league ball players that when they've come to town, stayed at this hotel, they have also experienced some weirdness. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I mean, they have to be, like, in tip-top shape to compete, you know, to, to play ball. So I can see why that would be completely understandable. Who wants to would stay at a haunted you, house? <laughs> would you, so you, so you wouldn't stay at the hotel, you'd bag it. You would go know. and stay someplace else if there was a reputation of the hotel being haunted. I uh, think I would have to try it one time. Really? Yeah. I don't even like to mess with that stuff. No. 
I'm like, absolutely not. not. It could I'm be a friendly ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there a Casper? I don't know. I don't even want to meet the Casper. Uh, more like poltergeist. One Ooh, poltergeist. Oh, never mind. It's all the same. Yeah. Right? All um, right. So now we can go back to uh, Jody's Taylor Swift Eras Tour t shirt that she waited in line for four and a half hours to get in the merch line. You did not Girl, wait that long. Lying. Of course not. I walked out during a very popular song and there was nobody on the line because I'm 47 years old and I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> that is okay. very smart, yeah. Um, I hear the Swifties but, are at it again. So why do fans think that Taylor wrote an anonymous book that is apparently now a bestseller? Well, it's funny. They think that she wrote an anonymous, an anonymous book because a publishing company announced that a celebrity is releasing a memoir this July a big celebrity and the book is going to be a huge bestseller but they haven't said who the celebrity is now you know how swifties find easter eggs everywhere so they have decided well it's taylor's book and some of the reasons why are very silly it's like the book has 544 pages and when you add all those numbers up it's 13 which everyone knows uh, is okay. taylor's favorite number <laughs> and also um you know, there's a lyric in a 2010 song that says July 9th, the beat of your heart. And the book comes out July 9th. I mean, it's really, mm. it's. Do it's you crazy. guys believe it? I don't. But I don't it, think so. But if it's true, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> well, the and you'll be part getting is, the book. Yeah, they've pre-sold thousands of copies already at $45 a pop. Of a mystery book? Of a mystery book. Actually, it's on Amazon right now under the name 4C Untitled Flatiron Nonfiction Summer 2023. I feel That's like it's going to, people who already pre-ordered this are going to get a book from like The Bachelor contestants or something like that. I know, right? And or 544 that pages is a lot for a memoir, unless a bunch yeah. of photos in the middle. That's that's a pretty long book. Yeah. But think of all the dirt we could hear about John Mayer and Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, she Come would on. never. No, she, she would never. Music. What if it's Britney's she would book? Never. He's such she, a would, hater. she would never write the memoir about them. Write the songs is one thing because it's yeah. what innuendo, but not the oh, book with their names are in French. Bender, it's your interpretation. <laughs> Maybe he's more of a Swifty than we realize. I know. Bender the Swifty. Oh. I've been told in my ear to stop talking. <laughs> All right, Bye. Jody Bender. Thank you so much. You've been cut off, Bender. We'll catch up with you on Tuesday. And remember, you can catch Jody and Bender weekday mornings from 6 to 10 on 95.7 The Jet. Hey, still ahead on